verse 24. And Jesus went with him. Now, that tells me something. That tells me that faith, whatever you bring out of your mouth, moves the hand of God. If you want God to move in your life, start speaking faith. And your faith should only be based on the word of God. You know? Now, um, but check this out. Jesus went with him and much people followed him. Now remember, there was a multitude waiting on Jesus to come out the ship. Jairus uh, hit him up as soon as he got out the boat. So he said, alright, I'll, I'll go with you to your house to, to see your daughter. But all those people start following him. No doubt these people wanted something from Jesus too. Now, they said that and much people followed him and thronged him. Y'all know what throng means? You know, you know, hey, I got this issue. You know, come follow me. You know, come to my house too. I need you to come to my house too. Throng. So Jesus is like trying to follow Jairus. And he's like, you know, you know, trying not to get busted in the face. And, you know, trying, to, he, you know, people yelling to him and all of that. Verse 25. A certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years. Something was going on with her blood system for 12 years. So much so though that uh, and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better. She never got better but rather grew worse. Verse 27 When she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind meaning Here's Jesus getting thrown by this multitude, and she came in behind all of the multitude. Now, in that society, she shouldn't even been out in the open. You know, people who are ill like that, they secluded them. But she came out, and that's, that's the reason why she was behind everybody. She didn't want to be noticed. And so she was, you know, trying to enter through this press because everybody wants something from Jesus at this point and ain't nobody paying attention to this lady she, she she's just one of us thousands of people that want something from Jesus right so she's going through this thing through this, through this multitude of people you know and I'm sure she's covered up I'm sure she's covered up you know and she just kind of going through this crowd right right so um verse 27 Listen to what she says. When she heard, when she had heard of Jesus came in behind the press and touched his garment. Okay. Now, 28. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. This woman said this before she did it. Just like God said, let there be light. And then there was. This woman came in the middle of everybody. All these people. Throng at Jesus. And of course she getting bumped around too. And she, re uh, she, she got a clear shot of him from behind. Got a clear shot of him from behind. And she's like, look. If I could just touch him, I know I could be whole. I don't need him to see me. I don't need him to, I don't need him to talk to me. I just need to touch him. And she reached out and grabbed his clothes. That's all she needed. And I'm sure she just collapsed in the street. She reached out and just got him. But all the while, while she was going through this thing, she's saying to herself, if I could just touch him, I'll be whole. If I could just touch him, I'll be whole. She don't know if Jesus is coming back to her town ever again. She's going to utilize this opportunity. 29. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And Jesus immediately. Knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Turn.
turned him about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee? Don't you see these people yanking on you? And thou says, Who touched me? Come on, Jesus. Look, man. You gotta you gotta know a thousand people done touched you already. Um, so are you trying to tell us to go find a person to touch you? I mean, just pick any of them. Dude. And then verse 32. And he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But the woman fearing and trembling. Why would she be fearing and trembling? Why? Because she ain't supposed to be out there with them. And now it's some attention is drawn on her. You know, because notice something though. Notice something. When she was trying to get through the press, she was bleeding. Because it said the fountain of her blood was dried up. She was bleeding. And she is not supposed to be out there with the rest of them bleeding. So, um, so she probably had blood on her clothes. And so, 33 says, But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him. Blood and all on her clothes, but her body was healed. And told him all the truth. Now hold on. Jairus just told Jesus. Look at here, man. Hold, hold, hold on. I just told you that my daughter is at the point of death. And then I mixed in some fake words like you'd like to hear. Okay? Now, you need to, uh, come on. Here this lady is, and Jesus stops. The whole show. Now, listen. How many of y'all, you got Jesus coming to your house, and you got this lady who ain't even supposed to be here stopping the show? How many of y'all gonna be like, uh, yeah, let's, let's take care of her, then, you know, I'll just wait over here. No, y'all gonna be like, oh, wait, hold on. I saw you first. You agreed to come to my house. What are you doing? Right? Yeah. Now this lady, he spotted her and she told him the whole story. <laughs> and Jairus is like, huh, dude, what you gonna do? <clears throat> but the woman Fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, Cain fell down before him and told him the whole truth, all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and the whole and be whole of thy plague. He said her faith made her whole. Her faith? How do you know she had faith? By what she said. She said, All I need to do is touch his clothes. All I need to do is touch his clothes. And I'll be healed. All I need to do is touch his clothes. Jesus recognized that. Now, she must have had faith because when she touched him, virtue, power left him. You know, it left him. He felt it. And it was because of what she'd been speaking. She's been speaking. She's speaking this stuff. Okay, now, let's, let's finish this story up. While he yet spake, while Jesus was talking, he had just told this girl, he's telling her, your faith made you whole. Go in peace and be healed of your plague. Now, he's still talking when verse 35 happens. While he yet spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, certain which said, they said, now here's an opportunity to evaluate which side these people are going to be on when they start speaking, okay? Your daughter dead. 
ran straight up to Jairus. Dude, your daughter dead, dude. Dude, she gone, bro.